Hey everybody, this is CapNex24, bringing you another part of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. This part, it's time for more super happy cutscene time, yay, hooray, oh boy. Um, step in the blue portal, as usual. Time to get a new medallion. Chamber of the Sages. Here we are. The sage is Ruto. Link, I would have expected no less from the man I chose to be my husband. Zora's domain and its people will eventually return to their original state. As a reward, I grant my eternal love to you. Well, that's what I want to say, but I don't think I can offer that now. I have to guard the water temple as the sage of water. And you, you're searching for the princess, Zelda? Ha, you can't hide anything from me. Princess Zelda, she's alive, I can sense it, so don't be discouraged. I can tell that nothing will stop you in your quest for justice and peace. You must take this medallion, take it respectfully. And here we go, the fourth medallion. Very nice, we got two more. Two more on our way, but we'll be doing a little bit of other stuff before we get that. Um, especially since we got another mini dungeon on the way. Would have liked to finish Ocarina of Time in 120 episodes. The way this is looking, probably more like 130. Although it kind of depends how quickly I get the rest of the skull pillows and stuff. Now we see Lake Helia, and it goes from very little water to filling up and pretty much returning to its natural, original state. As the water rises, the evil is vanishing from the lake. Link, you did it. And here we appear. We meet Sheik once more. Did Ruto want to thank me? I see. We have to return peace to Hyrule for her sake, too. Don't. Look at that, Link. Together, you and Princess Ruto destroyed the evil monster. Princess Ruto? Sh she did nothing! Whatever. Um, once again, the lake is filled with pure water. All is as it was here. Very nice. There, there are several things. Some optional some um kind of mandatory that we need to do here at the lake being a hundred percent walkthrough they're all pretty much mandatory for me anyway and cheek kind of is up there on the tree if you'll see Uh, there's a few things we want to do. There's some Skultulas here in Lake Helia. But I think they're... The ones, there's like one up or two up on the tree. But they're uh, night only, I think. Anyway, this says, um... When water fills the lake, shoot for the morning light. Take an arrow and fire it at the sun. I think that one hit. I'm not sure. Kind of hard to tell. But that's what you're supposed to do. Or maybe we have to wait till it's like absolute morning. I don't know. Hold on a sec. Yeah, obviously that didn't do anything, so I guess we'll just wait till, like, um, absolute morning now. What was the sun song again? There we go. We need to do some things at nighttime anyway. So we might as well speed up the process a bit. Alright. Find the sun. Shoot an arrow at it. You'll be granted with 
a new item, the fire arrows. We'll get those in a sec, except that Skultula is driving me nuts. So I want to get that first. But I know how I get up there, and it's probably with the magic bean. So, if it is, I'm going to be very disappointed. Well, anyway, go over here, and claim our reward of the fire arrows. What they do is exactly what it sounds. Fiery arrows. You go and equip it to your bow. You can basically shoot fire at stuff. The problem is it uses... Well, it actually doesn't use all that much magic. So... It's okay. I thought it used more, but I guess not. For now, though, our regular bow is fine. I'm gonna try and get that one Skultula, just because I want to get it out of the way. And then we'll get to another little thing. We've sort of done it before. Um, it's the fishing pond. When you're an adult, there's a new reward you can get. Let's see what Navi has to say. Let's look for someone who might know something about the other sages. Oh, because that's helpful. Uh, we'll have time for that later. What we're supposed to do next is go to Kakariko. That's kind of on our way anyway, since we want to claim our next Skullflo reward. Alright, let's try this magic beat plan. This better be. Down with Fishing pond it is then. Oh, time for the skull to lull later when I figure it out. Alright, when we were a child, the goal was like 10 pound fish. Now it's 20 pound. I think 19 works, but about 20 pounds. Seven years? Alright. There's a little easter egg, you can actually fish the guy's hat off, and he'll get mad, and then you won't have his hat anymore. Turns out he's bald. And, um... But whatever, we're not really gonna bother with that right now. The big fish always seems to be in about the middle or so. I guess I'll just cut to when I get it. Fishing's pretty much the same idea as it was before, except now, 10 pounds is going to be like nothing to catch while well, before was a rarity so yeah I'll just cut I guess alright uh, <laughs> I think I got the big fish uh, this one's only 18 pounds but 18 should be enough Oh, uh, so yeah let's definitely keep this one and believe me these fish will fight back that one didn't fight quite as much as I thought uh, but it really kept trying to like rub against the ground the problem is, it's kind of hard to tell because a lot of them look like big fish. Like, I've seen what look like really big fish, but then they turn out to be like 9 pounds or 13 pounds. But that one was literally huge. Um, anyway, let's tell them to weigh our fish. Whoa, this fish is huge. It looks like a new record. It weighs at least 18 pounds. Seriously. Okay, here's your prize. You get the golden scale. Jump into the water and press A. Now you can dive much deeper than you could before. This is an upgrade to the silver scale. Alright, let's give him back the rod. Um, there's actually a special glitch um, with the fishing rod. If you can like escape with it, then you can start like reverse bottle adventure. And then you really start screwing with the game code and stuff. You can essentially create items. It's actually pretty cool. But anyway, we're not going to get into that. Like I was saying though, before. The golden scale is an up to, uh, upgrade to the silver scale, and what it does is it lets you dive deeper. Uh, without any scales, you can dive, like the little counter goes to 3, with silver scale it goes to 5 or 6, I forget, can't really check now, and with the golden scale it goes to 10. So now go in here into this laboratory, and I don't know if we need to talk to him. Go here with the golden scale, dive down all the way. Maybe it's... Is that only like 8 or something? I don't know if it really matters. And then touch the bottom. Whatever. Maybe it's not 10, but it's still deep. And then talk to this guy. 
And because we touched the bottom without using the iron boots, it gives us a piece of heart. Very nice. Uh, I actually don't know how far I am on time because I kind of ended up screwing around a bit. I don't know how much I'm going to have to cut out. So I guess I'll finish off this part here. If it's, you know, if it ends up being a bit short, then, um, uh, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I guess I'll finish it off right here. If you liked it, please rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next part.